very good morning to all of you. Today we will discuss more about voices. Remember the two ways a sentence can be expressed in active voice and in passive voice depending on whether the subject of the sentence is doing any action or not. Let us recall a couple of sentences. Active, man has made the society. Passive, the society has been made by man. Passive, the school rules must be followed by the students. Active, the students must follow the school rules. Active. Who killed the tiger? Passive. By whom was the tiger killed? Each of the three sentences shown has been written in two ways, yet they mean the same. We know that they are in two different voices as discussed earlier. It is not just to be able to identify the voice of any sentence, but we should be able to construct sentences in two voices of our own. For that, we need to know the voices. Learning Objectives Upon completion of the module, learner will be able to identify difference in the structure of the sentences in the two voices. Acquire methods of changing one voice to the other without changing the meaning of the sentence. Many a times we think that just by changing one or two words in a sentence the voice has changed but that is not so. Let us look at the table. Here, in active voice, sentence is cats eat fish, where cats is subject, eat is verb, and fish is object. In the passive voice, the subject receives the action of the verb. Here, fish is subject is eaten is verb and by cats is doer or agent. The structure of the passive voice is very simple. Subject plus auxiliary verb be or have plus main verb past participle plus agent or doer. Optional. The main verb is always in its past participle form. Look at these examples. Here, first sentence is, water is drunk by everyone, in which water is subject is auxiliary verb and drunk is main verb which is past participle. Second sentence is 100 people are employed by this company where 100 people is subject, R is auxiliary verb and employed is main verb which is past participle. Third sentence is, I am paid in rupees, where I is subject, am is auxiliary verb, and paid is main verb, which is past participle. Next sentence is, we are not paid in dollars, here we is subject, are auxiliary verb, and paid is main verb, which is past participle. So. When we are constructing a sentence with the verb in active voice, we have to take care
that the subject is doing the action and there is an object. For example, subject is I, verb is am doing, object is the task. While writing a sentence with the verb in passive voice, the subject is no longer doing the action. It is done by an agent and the door of the work is not mentioned. For example, first, the clothes have been hung by the maid. Second, the clothes have been hung. In both the cases, the subject clothes is not doing any work. In first, the work is done by an agent or object. In second, the work is done by an object who is not mentioned. This becomes important when we change from one voice to another. We have to remember that First, the meaning of the sentence does not change. Second, the tense also does not change. Third, the subject of an active sentence becomes the object of the passive sentence and vice versa. Fourth, the object of an active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence and vice versa. And the fifth point is, the verb of the active voice takes its past participle form in passive voice preceded by verb, to be or verb, to have in the same tense as the other sentence. Let us have a look at the table. Here are active and passive voice sentences. First active voice sentence is, everybody drinks water. In this sentence, everybody is subject, drinks is verb and water is object or agent. In passive voice, water is subject, is drink is verb and by everybody is object or agent. Second active voice sentence is, Mary had done good work, where Mary is subject, had done is verb, good work is object or agent, and in passive voice sentence, good work is subject, had been done is verb, by Mary is object or agent. Next active voice sentence is, Raj will bring your book. In this sentence, Raj is subject, will bring is verb, and your book is object or agent. If we write down the same sentence in passive voice, then your book will be subject, will be brought is verb, and by Raj will be object or agent. Next active voice sentence is, somebody has stolen my bag. Here, somebody is subject, has stolen is verb, my bag is object or agent, but in passive voice, it will be like this, my bag is subject, has been stolen is verb, and there is no object or agent here. If you look at the next sentence, that is, you raise the curtain. Here, you is subject, raise is verb, and the curtain is object or agent. But when we write the same sentence in passive voice, then we will write as, let the curtain be raised by you. Where, let the curtain is subject, 
be raised is verb and by you is object or agent. Now look at the next active voice sentence that is who broke the jug. Here who is subject, broke is verb and the jug is object or agent. But in passive voice this sentence will be like this. By whom is subject, was auxiliary verb, the jug is object and broken is verb. Last sentence is passive voice sentence. Rules must be followed. You can see rules, here is subject. Must be followed is verb. There is no object agent here. But when we write the same sentence in active voice, we will add all or you or students before the sentence and then in new sentence, this will be subject. Here must follow is verb and rules is object or agent. So you have seen how verbs can be changed from active to passive and from passive to active. So vidyarthiyon tusi vekhya ki kiwe verbs no active to passive ate passive to active vich badlya ja sakta hai. Par ik mehtaf puran point to hannu dimag vich rakhna hovega. Yaad rakho, jado asi kise sentence no active to passive vich badal de ha. The object of the verb in active voice becomes the subject of the verb in passive voice. Active voice which verb the object, passive voice which verb the subject ban janda hai. Is karke sirf transitive verbs no hi passive voice which badal sakte haan. Na ki intransitive verbs. Why? Kyunki intransitive verbs da koi object nahi hunda. Let us look at the following sentences. First, Monica eats rice. Second, Monica eats in the morning. What is the difference? Monica eats what? Rice. Second, Monica eats when? In the morning. As rice in one answers to the question what? It is the object of the verb eats. In two, the question when and the answer in the morning is an adverbial phrase, so it is not an object. Number ik de which rice a what sawal da jawab hai. A verb eats the object hai. Do number which sawal hai when yani kado ate adverbial phrase which is the jawab hai in the morning yani savere is lai a object nahi hai the first sentence monica eats rice can be changed into rice is eaten by monica but the second sentence monica eats in the morning cannot be changed try to do it let us do some teasers change these sentences to passive if it cannot be done Say no. Par duje nu nahi badlea ja sakta. Is no badlandi koshish karo. Ao kush teasers lende ha. Ena sentences no passive which badlo. J a na badle ta kaho no. My first question is. I am writing a story and the answer is a story is being written by me. My next question is the boy will give a speech and the answer is a speech will be given by the boy.
my next question is raju talks very fast and the answer is no my next question is ankit had studied only yesterday and the answer is no my next question is we all burnt with shame and the answer is no so keep this in mind students that only when a verb in a sentence answers to the question what or who only then it has an object and can be changed to passive for the rest they are only adverbial phrases so is tarah vidyarthiyo ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਿਮਾਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖੋ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਉਦੋਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਰਬ ਕਿਸੇ ਵਾਟ ਔਰ ਹੂ ਸਵਾਲ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਪੈਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਦਲਿਆ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਾਕੀ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਐਡਵਰਬੀਅਲ ਫ੍ਰੇਜ਼ਸ ਹੀ ਹਨ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਡੂ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ਸ say which is the object in each of the sentences if there is no object say no i bought three books yesterday and the answer is three books ritesh will throw a party next week and the answer is a party Montu left early in the morning and the answer is no the man paid the fine and the answer is the fine Pratik is an active boy and the answer is no she will go by monday and the answer is no always remember that the word or group of words which comes after any form of the verb be is never an object but a complement hamesha yaad rakho ki shabd ya shabda da samuh jeda ki verb be di kise vi form de baad aunda hai ਉਹ ਕਦੇ ਵੀ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸਗੋਂ ਕੰਪਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਨਾਓ ਰੀਕਾਲ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਹੈਡ ਲਰਨਡ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਜੂਨੀਅਰ ਕਲਾਸਸ ਥੈਟ ਇਸ ਕਾਈਂਡਸ ਆਫ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸਸ देयर ਆਰ ਫੋਰ ਕਾਈਂਡਸ ਆਫ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਅਸਰਟਿਵ 1 that makes a statement for example the children are playing cricket interrogative one that asks a question for example who broke this glass imperative one that gives commands or orders or request for example hang the culprit which is an order please give me a glass of water which is a request exclamatory one that expresses a feeling or emotion for example what a beautiful sight of these the first three can have verbs written in active or passive voice after fulfilling the condition of the verb having an object let us try out a few transformations from one voice to another assertive active praveen distributed sweets 
passive sweets were distributed by praveen interrogative active who will take the responsibility passive by whom will the responsibility be taken active why should the man punish manu passive why should manu be punished by the man imperative active raise the curtain passive let the curtain be raised active please allow me a day's leave passive you are requested to allow me a day's leave but where is the subject in an imperative sentence one important and interesting point must be noted in the imperative sentence that apparently the subject is missing but it definitely is not so actually the subject is nothing but second person you so in active voice it is you and in passive voice it is by you both of which need not be used so any time you need to change from one voice to another in imperative put you and by you appropriately and you will have no problem there are two ways to change an imperative sentence look at these sentences par imperative sentence de vich subject kithe hai imperative sentence de vich ek mahatvapurn ate dilchasp gal note karan wali hai ki prathak taur te subject is missing par is spasht taur te nahi hunda asal vich subject kuch bhi nahi dujja vyakti you hai is layi active voice de vich a you hai ate passive voice de vich a by you hai doha di hi varto di zarurat nahi hai is layi imperative de vich kisi vi samay jadon tusi ik voice to dujje vich badalna hai ta spasht taur te you ate by you lagao ate tuhanu koi samasya nahi hovegi imperative sentences nu badalan de do tarike han my first question is shut the door and the answer is let the door be shut or you are ordered to shut the door My next question is please clean the room and the answer is let the room be cleaned or you are requested to clean the room let us tackle some quizzes aao ek prashn hal kariye change from one voice to another The question is the teacher asked a simple question to the students and the answer is a simple question was asked by the teacher to the students The next question is the money will be returned by sham tomorrow and the answer is Sham will return the money tomorrow. The next question is by whom had the clothes been washed? 
and the answer is who had washed the clothes. The next question is can you get an umbrella and the answer is can an umbrella be got by you. My next question is call all the men and the answer is you are ordered to call all the men. The next question is please close the windows and the answer is you are requested to close the window. The next question is let the room be cleared and the answer is clear the room. The next question is the room had been arranged and the answer is someone or a girl or they had arranged the room. Next question is what will be told by you and the answer is what will you or they or she tell Ram. The next question is let the best win and the answer is let the match or contest or election be won by the best. Thus we have seen that the two voices with active and passive even though they express the same meaning in a sentence have their unique characteristics. Also we have seen the changes that need to be put in when we are transforming one voice to the other. These changes are very important and must be kept in mind when doing the transformation. Is tara asi vekhya ki do awaza active ate passive paave ki ek sentence de vich doha de matlab ikko han par doha de akhar vakhre han. Naal hi asi ik voice to duji voice vich badlan samay kitiyan jaan waliyan changes di load nu vekhya. E changes bhoat hi metaf puran han ate transformation kar de samay saanu hamesha ehna nu apne dimaag vich rakhna chahita hai. We will now try out a few exercises. My next question is how is a sentence in passive voice different from that of an active voice? And the answer is the subject of the sentence in active voice becomes the object of the sentence in the passive voice. My next question is what are the changes that comes to the verb of a sentence in passive voice and the answer is the verb in passive voice takes its past participle form preceded by either form of the verb to be or to have. Let's take up another round of questions. Change the voice of the following sentences. My first question is the food has been cooked by my mother. And the answer is my mother has cooked the food. The next question is the discipline must be maintained. And the answer is all or people or students must maintain the discipline. The next question is how has this dish been prepared? And the answer is how has she or the chef prepared this dish.
the next question is may you be blessed and the answer is may god bless you the next question is arrest the criminal and the answer is let the criminal be arrested the next question is the exams will be held by next week and the answer is the school or board or teacher will hold the exams by next week not next week will hold the exams the next question is let the answer be given to me and the answer is give me the answer the answer must be given to me so we end with voices today please remember that the correct use of voice in appropriate place makes writing beautiful use the voices in the right way so until we meet next time goodbye